everybody. Welcome back from more Tears of the Kingdom. In the last stream, we t <laughs> we took it on the Wind Temple. Got ourselves Tulin and his... To awaken... Blah. I'm having trouble talking. It's late at night. But yes, we got Tulin to become the Wind Sage. We've got their power now. Uh, back at Lookout Landing after getting a few more shrines. Maxing out our second stamina wheel, getting our 12th heart. And main quest I'm going to tackle next is going back down to the depths for Joshua. But while we're here in Lookout Landing, there are two other side quests that look like activated. So we are going to check those out. First off, these two are worried. Probably about the pirates that they mentioned at their... Uh, in where they came from. Uh. Worried about everyone back home in Luralin Village. Keep hoping they got away from the pirates. Hey, I was right! Mm. Me too. We're so fortunate to have refuge here. I can't say the same for everyone else. The village is way out on the edge of East Nakluta to the southeast. And there's nowhere nearby for them to run to. Mm. Roselle's the village leader, so he'd be first to know how things shook out back home. But we've got no way to reach him. Never thought something like this would happen in our peaceful little hometown. Mm. Hmm? Are you a customer? Eh? You must have overheard the bad news. We were speaking freely because we didn't figure any customers would come by at this hour, but enough about that. Village attacked by pirates! Oi. Hey, welcome! You're up bright and early today. Go ahead, buy lots and lots. I already, ah. I already did. Just had to close up shop in my hometown. It just wasn't possible to do business there anymore. Oh. I come from a small fishing town called Luralin Village. It's way to the south, on the southeastern corner of Hyrule. Used to be a peaceful place, too. But then the pirates arrived. I used to run the village's general store, but when those pirates arrived, I had to grab all the goods I could carry and run. I don't know how it's going to end there now. I hope I can return someday, but for now, I'll just keep selling as much stuff as I can. Please let me know if there's anything you'd like. Ah. Oh. Sorry you overheard all that. You see, our hometown is a place called Luralin Village. It's a fishing village on the southeastern edge of Hyrule. It's a small little place, but our li it's a small place, but our little village had specialty shops you can't find anywhere else. People would travel great distances just to visit the shops. It was a very lively place. Same thing I keep hearing about Hateno. I need to go there. I need to go back over to Akala as well and check out what's going on with Terrytown. Apparently that weird thing that gave me the Bacoblin mask is out that way from I remember them saying. Aww. Yeah. But then it was attacked by pirates. I hope everyone is all right. Rizal's the head of the village. He'd surely not have a fair, mm. but he's fine. You already said all this, buddy. You are repeating yourself. Now, what do these horse people need? That's odd. <clears throat> Carson, when did you think the stable will be ready? Ah. It'll still be a while yet. <sighs> I need to get the last roof planks fitted correctly. There's only one spot to finish. Hmm. Well, until then, the stable is re Until the stable is ready, we can't board more horses. What a shame. The incomplete stable. I have a feeling I can fix that right now.
Ha! There you go. Well, look at that. It fits perfectly. Oh. Thanks for helping out. I was having a hard time figuring out how to fit it. With the roof done, all that's left is to add the finishing touches. I'll get cracking. I'll get cracking. Sun and done. Uh -huh. Quick and quality blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. Oh. Okie dokes. Feeling pumped. Gonna get this done in one fell swoop. How's that? Ah. Well, well, this is a fine looking stable. Can't say I'm surprised considering your Hudson Construction's number one. Hmm. And thanks to you. And thanks to your help with this little project, son. Looks great. Now we can board horses at Lookout Landing. And if you need help with horses, please talk to me anytime. But rotten luck. Oh, Spot. Where did you get off to? Spot? Well, look who it is. I sure can't thank you enough for helping our mini stables come together. Heard me talking to myself, did you? Spot is the name of my beloved horse, you see. Truth be told, he's missing. Ran away just before the stable was built. Well, he's been a meek horse, so I can't imagine he's run off too far. Hmm. He's beautiful. Just one look at his silky, gentle beige coat, and you know it was him. Of course, you recognize his unique gray dappling, too. That's the reason I call him Spot in the first place. Hmm. A horse like him, I bet you he's someplace with a nice view, taking in the sights. Just wish I didn't have so much trouble climbing to high places these days. Somewhere with a nice view, high place. Beige, gray man. Gray spots. I don't know. Either way, we need to be getting down to the depths. What is that over there? like a fort. Alright, the depth entrance is right over there. Pretty easy to hop to it. I like the fact that both of them are chilling here. It's actually pretty cool. Do I already have a beehive taken? Or do I still need to photograph a beehive? I saw that choo choo. <laughs>
kind of nice having a whole bunch of, <laughs> like, having a party with me. And there's a couple of other things here in the depths now as well. <laughs> Forgot to stick that landing. Well, that's kind of where I want to be, because that's where I found the first one. So, you know what? heading in a line. First off, though, there's something at this Daphne's Canyon mine. Just a little bit west. And in the right way, yeah. good opportunity to get some more uh, bomb flowers maybe too up to the tutorial island area where I can refine this stuff into the things I can use to upgrade my battery at some point soon. I've been getting quite a lot of zombies. <laughs> Miner's top. Glow. Shirt featuring lamps of various sizes filled with bioluminescent material made to help with excavating dark environments. Oh, ho, really, you say? Interesting. And the other one's way out that way. Well, let's go on a quick treasure hunt. Ah! ah. Go 
guess this next route is up this hill. Still pretty dark. Oh, it's right there. Oh, that's the one I already got. There we go. Now we seem to be heading in the right direction. Seem to be. We are. There it is. Thanks, Unibo. Took you a while, but you got him. That 
That worked out for the best. Really doesn't give much of a glow. Nechaim's Light Root. one's out pretty far, actually. Let's see what we can do. It's never going to be a completely straight line with this place, but got pretty much a straight line to it. Unibo. Hey, some bomb flower. Just what the doctor ordered. Shit. <laughs> Please tell me I have something for stamina. I kinda do. Sacrifice the light. Sure, let's go up. 
Holy crap, now that is what I call darkness. How high does this go? Um... I seem to be stuck. Gonna need that light after all. Okay. Plan B it is. Down here, you want those rock hammers. Doesn't matter if they're disposable ones. See what we can do about this. All this for nebulous treasure. a crazy underdark.
So I don't think I can actually get up there very easily. case back to the quest that we started This does look like a way up, though. Oh, maybe not. Or maybe not. I can make it up here. Still not good enough? No. It just seems to be a giant wall right there, so...
Unibo, Unibo, Unibo. Alright, well then, in that case. Let's start following those things. statue. It's got a bit of a turn to it. Oh. It's because they're heading that way now. Quite a bunch of good stuff along the way, too. My dudes help clear out the rest of them.
Well, what do you know? Exactly the way I was going before, by the looks of it. Huh. Well then. Ahoy, Mr. Drew. You've got me stumbling around in the slightly dark. And I found a very bright suit. Is that one I already... Yeah, the camera is looking at that one. Oh, I'm looking ahead at one of these things, but this, these guys want me to go away from that thing. now. There's the next statue. And another Poe field. Field of Poe people. go that way towards this one who's now pointing this way a lantern. is going this way. There's our next set of two. And it looks like this place has a little bit of natural light.
them out right quick. You though, you gotta go. There is a lot of pe of dudes here. going this way. That can't be the temple it's referring to, is it? Looks like it is. Light route right by it, too. that one over there. What are those? Super pose? Grand pose. Great abandoned central mine. Huh. And this is leading right to 
where we wanted to go. Looks like there was a light route on the other side of this structure. This is quite the thing. Oh. What do we have here? Did you pass the interview too? He obviously did. Why else would he come strolling up to a place like this? <sighs> Why'd I even bring it up? Oh. <laughs> Just forget it. It's not important. What is important is the text we're investigating. It's fascinating. It claims this stone statue used to be able to grant us an ancient power. <gasps> it's right. This peculiar stone statue is nothing less than one of the fabled constructs. In fact, I have some writing here that explains this so-called ancient power in detail. It reads, This ability will allow you to commit any structure you create to memory. Oh. Oh, so this is where I get that. Okay. Any object committed to memory can be instantly reproduced just think of it if we could instantly recreate anything we'd ever made the ye i mean the survey team's uh, investigation of this land would be swift and unstoppable oh they're yiga the text further claims that this construct should be able to grant us that power we just have to wake it up <gasps> ah, didn't think we'd see anybody else down here. And, you know, the fact that they're Yiga explains why they're they're down here this far. Because I was thinking, just like, why would there be, high, like, members of the research team here? <laughs> yes, I do think they might be Yiga clan. In fact, she kind of gave up the ghost. Well, I imagine you could say the same to us, oh. huh? Uh, you're here to investigate too, right? You know, since you took the... I mean, survey team interview? Because we definitely took that interview too. Yep, that's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this. Our latest discovery nearly knocked us off our feet. We found this weird device with these wavering green letters on it and this strange statue. We think it could be one of those living stone constructs. Pretty sure it's supposed to move, too. Well, I say that, but it's all just conjecture on my part. Truth is, we're in a bit of a panic here. If we don't figure out how this thing works soon, we're going to be in big trouble. Well, let me wake it up for you. Oh. Authorizer verified. It's moving! Conferring auto build auth to authorizer now. Please utilize it as you explore and excavate the depths for Zomanite.
Okay, well, if it just gave me the auto build, now I really do have to start working on my batteries. Did I see what I thought I saw? Did that thing just give you the power we've been researching? That's incredible. Could you give us a demonstration? Let me see. What does the text has to say? Hold on. Um, this ability will allow you to commit any structure you create to memory. Any object committed to memory can be instantly reproduced. Ah. I know just what to use it on. As luck would have it, both of our vehicles just broke. We've been struggling to put them back together again. Another hint that they're Yiga, because the Yiga down here, I've already fought a few, they uh, have vehicles. The Hylians up top do not. Oh. The one with the on the pedestal that lost a wheel? Ah. Uh. And the one on the square pedestal that has fallen to pieces. But I think if you put the wheel back onto the first one, you should be able to use your power to repair the second one in no time <laughs> flat. So, come on, let's see it in action. Fix him up quick. You can start by repairing the one on the round pedestal. Oh, look at that. The wheel's right back on there, snug as a bug. Now time for the main event. The one in pieces on the square pedestal. Now use that power of yours and fix it up, lickety split. It's like I'm seeing double. Built in less than no time flat, too. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Thank you, ancient power. Ooh. The texts were right, after all. Ooh. I'll say, that power is incredible. Oh, master. <laughs> well, look at that. The legends were true. Great work, both of you. You too, stranger. Credit where credit is due. Yes, credit where credit is. If there's one foe I'll never forget, it's the man who cast me from my Gerudo desert hideout into these very depths. It was you! Now I live for vengeance, both upon that no-good Zelda and my sworn enemy. That means you, Link. We meet again at last. And don't try to tell me you've forgotten me. We are bound by fate, you and I. I have no friggin' clue who this is. <laughs> Hear my name and tremble in fear. I am the leader of the Yiga clan. Master Koga. I saw it all. I saw the moment you obtained the ancient power we've sought for so long. 
the highlight of all the musty old texts we've found in this land. <laughs> it remembers objects you've assembled. It can instantly reproduce them. A long lost ability from the distant past. So you, you, you're cheating. We are here working ourselves to the bone to build things by hand and you can just whip them up in an instant? That's not fair! Mm. Now you know who could use that power? The one we worship and revere. The Magnificent One. If we offer it to him, he would have crushed you and Zelda both. But you just walked right up and snatched it away. Oh, I'm, I'm sure he was a villain in Breath of the Wild. That's why we drove him from his Gerudo home. I just don't remember it. It's been years since I played Breath of the Wild. And I don't... I'm too lazy to hook my Wii U back up and I'm not paying $90 for the Switch version. Now I'm gonna snatch it back. Are you? <laughs> Prepare yourself. Oh, I can't take it apart. My turn. This is a little embarrassing, Master Koga. That's fine with me. Where'd he go? There you are. I blew myself up. like he had a force field on there anyway for that final stage
on the wheel. Let's have a quick bite to eat. That was a uh, an interesting fight. Oh, you pesky little pest! Why won't you stand still and let me squish you? Oh, fine. I suppose I can let you off easy for today. You think you're so smart, but I've already found a whole bunch of ruins down here. I saw your little trick there. You used your right hand to get that construct going. I'll grab that power you cheated out of me for myself off the, at the southwestern abandoned mine. <laughs> then the magnificent one and I will guide this world on it to its miserable end, and there's nothing you can do to stop us. <laughs> So don't follow me! Southwestern Abandoned Temple, huh? Side Adventures, Master Koga. That's useful. Excuse me. Thank you for repelling the trespassers. I hope you will pardon me for listening in on your conversation. That man mentioned an abandoned mine to the southwest. I suspect that he is referring to the former Gerudo mine. That place flourished with activity long ago like this one, or was constantly unearthed and refined. There are statues that point the way to the abandoned Gerudo mine. Follow them to reach that destination. 
I recommend you begin by making your way to the light you see over there. One more thing before you set out on your journey. There is something that I would like you to have. Please speak with my associate when possible. Thank you for driving out the trespassers. I will no longer need to hide in order to avoid detection. There is another reason that is good that you have come. I see that you have the ability to auto-build. That means this schema stone I carry is for you. These stone slabs depict schematics of things such as Zoni vehicles, auto-builds Ave schematics, and builds it on command. Fan plane. Nice. You should now be able to auto-build an additional design. Please wait while I prepare the necessary parts for you to test this schema stone. The schema stone can help you build things you have never before imagined. I hope you will find this one useful. Hey! I can refine things there. Perfect. I don't have to go back up to Tutorial Island to do that anymore. Schema stones can help you build things you have never before imagined. All right. Oh, you have lots of these. I am grateful to you for driving out the trespassers. I was processing zoonite into other materials. It was necessary that I flee to avoid detection. But I am at liberty now to trade zoonite for processed materials. Zoonite is processed by smelting it into the furnace, where it is thereby converted to materials with useful properties. Zonite charges and crystallized charges are two such examples. Will take. Will take. going on here though what's up here anything of use <laughs> not sure anyway
Back to this climbing thing now, huh? Can't be too far. Yep, there we are. Oh, my freaking glider landed here anyway. Sweet. I'm gonna have to do more cooking soon. Right by perfect. That's probably the southwestern mine because I found those X's from like the Sky Temple for like mar old markings on the map. Highly a canyon mine. glowy. as well. Yeah, at this point. It's getting pretty late. Let's 
saw one more light reef that I would like to try and get. Works out. That's good, it's on the mini-map at least, because it's right there. Wonderful. Huh. So I'd hit two underground ones that I hadn't found above ground yet. Awesome. Well, we should go tell Joshua about what we found. Because I'm sure at this point... Still not the one that we were uh, going for initially. If we were continuing southwest, we'd be going that way. Just out of curiosity. It does mark it on the map. He's just pretty far out. So let's get back up 
to look out landing, talk to Joshua, and that way we can also... Is there anything else I wanted to do there? We'll find out. Yes, there was something else I wanted to do here. little bit of a swap. I do like having the old school hat on every now and then. But at the same time, no matter what, I just prefer the hood. And actually, before I forget to do this for the day, Don't have to worry about them freezing this time. It does replenish everything, okay. Before I talk to Joshua, there's this one over here. Hmm. Oh. I was captivated by the sight of those ruins in the gentle morning ah. light. These ruins are very ah. unusual. They're unique among all the ruins our survey team has discovered on the surface, at least. We need to investigate it fully, but most of the team is at the Ring Ruins. We're stretched out thin these days. We'll have to make do. The Ring Ruins are very important, after all. Oh. Those ruins fell all over Kakariko Village, far off in the Nakluda region of the southeast. They're called the Ring Ruins because they're still partially intact and are in the shape of rings. If you can't see them from here, but you can climb high at Lookout Landing, and you can make them out on the horizon. Ah. But these ruins here, they're special too, truly unique. Still, the Ring Ruins hold something of the mysterious that's got the attention of the Zonai survey team's leader. He's there looking into the stone slabs inscribed with Zonai text, and he took most of our team ah. with him. Though I guess I'm lucky I get to investigate these ruins this important on my own without le anyone else here to bother me. <laughs> this is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Good. Get producing. To produce two energy wells, it will require 200 crystallized charges. 
Is that acceptable? I said get producing. Please wait. of a second battery. Well, I had no idea how useful this Joshua quest into the depths was actually going to be, but now I see. Swordsman. What is it? You look very pleased with yourself. C could it be? Huh. Auto build? With the ability to instantly replicate things you built? And schema stones? Oh. So there really was a Zonai temple housing a mysterious power down in the depths. Hmm. hmm. That may also mean that some of the things collected from the depths may give us other clues. Wait here just a sec. Um... Hmm, not that. Nope, not that either. Aha! Here we go. <laughs> here, swordsman. Ooh, thank you. Oh, for the hot air balloon. A new design has been registered with the auto build. Uh -huh. This is a schema stone for a balloon, right? So if you use this with auto build, you could replicate a balloon, right? I'm thinking... Yeah. That balloon over there belongs to Goggles, but it's broken right now. Do you think you might be able to fix it with the auto build? It's so exciting. I want to see it in action pronto. I'll... G I'll prepare real quick. Okay. Swordsman, everything's ready. Please demonstrate how the auto build replicates things. <laughs> I can't believe you rebuilt the balloon in an instant. This mysterious power goes beyond scientific explanation. Goggles? Hey! Goggles! Oh, what are you yelling about, Joshua? Oh, inconceivable! My balloon! It's fixed! This must be the mysterious power the zone I had. I never thought I'd see such a marvel with my own eyes. Oh. Thank you for making this reality. Please take this. I've been saving it for a special occasion. Well, thank you. Uh -huh. I still haven't been able to figure out what this is. But judging from that light, it's gotta be of Zonai in origin. Since you can use Zonai powers, I think it would be better for you to have yeah. it. There was an incredible power lying hidden in the depths after all. I think I'll keep researching the depths going forward. Who knows, I might just find a clue about Princess Zelda. If you make any new discoveries in the depths, please let me know, swordsman. Um, yes? Did you need something, swordsman? No way! Koga, the leader of the Yiga clan, was there? Oh, this is dangerous. I've got to regain my composure. Okay, come this way. Huh. So you faced Koga in the depths. 
What's the leader of the Yiga clan up to down there? From what I know, the Yiga clan is a super dangerous group that schemes against the Kingdom of Hyrule. And Koga has it out for you and Princess Zelda for a long time. He'd do anything to put an end to your lives. But despite anything we're, everything we're looking into already, we just can't take our eyes off this threat. Besides, Koga could know what's happened to the princess. That would make a lot of sense. If you do go after him, keep in mind that I'll be continuing my research of the depths from right here. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, do you know about the Forest of Time south of Hyrule Field? There's a chasm there, and I've got a report of another series of statues found at the bottom of it. These statues are different from the ones you showed me using the camera. They seem to point you somewhere too, and do come near, and do come near where you got your auto build ability. But they don't stop there. These statues lead farther southwest into the depths. Um. Where they go is anyone's guess, but I bet their destination far beyond that building is worth seeing. Huh. Oh, you already found one! Oh! <laughs> well, it's a good thing I did that. This has got to be... It appears just like it was described in the report. Oh! And of course you already found it. You're amazing, swordsman. Oh. I'll keep gathering info about what's in the depths, so be sure to stop by and check in with me sometime. Cool. So, we figured out a lot of stuff. Oh, now you have something for us. But we'll pick that up next time, because it's definitely a little bit late. It is definitely time for me to be getting to bed, but yeah, things are now really picking up. Looks like Robbie's got another quest for us, so we'll check that out. And uh, it seems like the story is trying to push us back towards, like, Nakluda and the rings area, but there's also stuff going on in the south. And there are these two shrines. Oh, this must be the chasm that she was just talking about. And then there's another one right there. So that might be something to do in the next stream is start there and then start heading down to do the stuff over here. Also, we gotta start hitting stables and uh, trying to see what we can do to wake up the great fairies, do the newspaper side quest. There is so much to do. We've still got like seven more of these things. Crap ton of wells to find. Like, slightly overwhelming amount of stuff to do. But, that's all for another night. This has been friggin' awesome, though. Till next time, y'all stay safe, sleep well, be excellent to each other, and I'll see y'all next stream for more Tears of the Kingdom.